Over millions of years, atoll lagoons have formed around volcanic islands, following a process that starts with the eruption of an underwater volcano. The volcano piles up lava on the sea floor as it continues to erupt and grow higher until it breaks the surface of the water. The top of the volcano then becomes an oceanic island. Hermatipe corals, also known as hard corals, begin to build a reef around the island in the next stage. These corals create billions of hard exoskeletons of limestone on the reef. This fringing reef surrounds the island just below the ocean surface and creates a thin shallow strip of water that we call the lagoon. As the volcanic island erodes over millions of years, it sinks to the sea floor, a process called subsidence. The sea mount erodes into the sea and its top becomes flat due to the constant pounding of powerful ocean waves. The flat-topped sea mount is known as geo as it subsides. Moreover, as the island subsides to become a geo, its ring-shaped fringing reef turns into a barrier reef that is farther from the shore and has a deeper lagoon. The barrier reef protects the lagoon from the harsh winds and waves of the open ocean. Subsidence brings slight differences in the ocean chemistry that change the reef radically. The outer, ocean-facing side of the reef remains a healthy marine ecosystem. However, corals on the inner lagoon-facing side slowly decay as the algae that corals need to survive face much more competition for fewer nutrient resources. The limestone begins to decay, changing the color of the lagoon from deep ocean blue to bright teal. In the final stage of an atoll's formation, ocean waves break apart pieces of the limestone reef. They pound, break and erode coral into tiny grains of sand. The sand and other material deposited by the waves or wind pile up on the reef. This material, including organic matter such as plant seeds, forms a ring-shaped island or islet.